can't bring out the information to the next day. Tell him that I must be in Abuja on Thursday night and catch him up. Please. Um, your Excellency, can I ask you a question? Yes, the governor. What about you? What is his fate? Will he survive? <laughs> in this world we live in, nothing happens by accident. His Excellency's helicopter did not just fall from the sky. Just like that. My being the deputy governor is not also by accident. I was chosen to carry out our planned program. His Excellency, he will pass a new government in this world. Well said. Well said. In that case, I will say congratulations, Your Excellency. Thank you. You will make an excellent governor. And you also will get an excellent partner in this Well, I'll be running along. Have a nice day, Your Excellency. Chief, 
Please, I want to know the secret. What is what? I know the secret of your mind. What have you done to succeed? Where people like you have failed. I have heard talks, rumors, and whispered words that our people are afraid to speak of. And that is what I am asking you to let me do. I want to know, Chief, that extra thing that I need to do to have the kind of money you have. The extra thing I would recommend is hard work. Hard work, trust, and reliance on God and His Word. Reliance on the one who says he can take a beggar from the dunghill and sit him right there in the midst of princes. Akaya, there you go again. I know those words. I know those conditions. But I tell you, in life, nothing stands alone. If a blind man is not met across the road, most times he walks into an opening bed with his eyes. Why do you? Chief, I'll tell you, I don't know the good advice. Give me what you know about what you I am very, very willing to do anything. Well, I have told you what I know and what I did to make my money. That is it, right? If you have come here to suggest anything else, then please do not come to my house again. Me and my household, we will serve the Almighty living God. Ha! Huh? Everybody! Oh, we'll kiss you when you jump when you just tell you. Ah, everybody. I know you very well. I always do what you need. How is it? Go ahead, take it. Come over to my office tomorrow morning. More of it. But, who does Alex and by the way knows only God, the one and true living God, Jesus Christ. And I would advise you that you should channel your focus and energy in that direction. And you know what? It is never too late. Uh -uh. Call upon God anytime, anywhere. He will always, always answer you. All right. You go. Now mind your hand. I'll tell you. Thank you for this much. But I see this is six on the way to six. I see this is on the way to six. I want to be like you. What? I want to be like you, Akadia. Hey, you know you give me that paper. Money, right? What else? What more did he say he wanted? Oh. Mm -hmm. Chief, you and I know that that is not totally true. I never had a master to show him how you made your money. So? But I hope you did not go tell him anything. Listen, you can't go back to your enemies which which you took while wanting after the same antelope. Alice, 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 you made me laugh. If I was such an idiot, 
like you think I am. No, definitely not for living in this kind of house and enjoying the kind of wealth that you do right now. So, my dear, would you be so nice if you invest a little more confidence in me? I'm sorry, I mean, it's just that I know you too well. Okay, and I know that in your generosity, you can just forget the things that you're not supposed to forget. And you've seen how many times you spread your hands so wide in that same generosity, which always ends up putting us in trouble. Be afraid. So, what are you looking for in that dung hill when I have separated you? Come out of them. For that where you are in is the place of destruction and perdition. Come out of them and be To... On the phone? <sighs> Never mind. So why are you going to? I thought you had just served your food. Alex. Hey. Alex. Rules. That must be 
forgive me, Chief Priest. I would never break those rules if there were not urgencies that need to be addressed. Thank you for forgiving. I had a visitation just now. If I knew, I would definitely know how to handle it. That's why I come. I have questions. Questions that need answers. I need to know what to do. What what is you? has the right to walk the face of the earth if we do not give it permission. Well, this spirit took no permission from anyone. It stood there and it spoke words that it had no rights knowing. Forgive me, but do what I like to permit. A friend of mine had come to my place earlier in the day asking me what I do to make my money. And then he left. I walked into my bedroom, and this figure just stood there. It had no face and no shape. And he told me that I lied to my friend. That is no lie. Only a wrong perception of that which is broken. It also told me to leave the nativity, the place where I am. It said that it is a place of perdition and destruction. A breach, a breach in your defenses. No how evil spirits to walk into your home and unknowingly you have done something wrong to attract their presence. No spirit can walk this path. If they do, then it is a tear in the fabric of time, space, and dimension. They're coming to deceive and to kill. We have the power to send them back to the nethers, the bottomless pit, where they come from. The weight of authority you carry is sufficient to repel those who seek your destruction. Forgive me, Nathan. Far from it that I doubt your words, powers, or your knowledge. But this spirit could teach me. And I went into darkness. But its presence never inspired any form of fear. Oh no. It inspired calmness and peace. Peace like I have never ever felt before. This sin in spirits. Lying demons, they cannot give peace. They cannot grant wealth that our master. And he did not permit any spirit to visit you. Go and repair it. Go and repair the breach, the opening from where they entered. You know what to do. Of course. The sacrifice will be arranged immediately. Good. His Excellency, the Deputy Governor, asked me to table his regrets. The President had called for an emergency Council of State meeting over the tribal killings in the north, and he just has to be there, knowing that the Governor is indisposed. It is a good thing. The Governor will pass on after the moments of the worship of tomorrow's night. Thank you once again for joining us.
sometimes I wonder whether it is not the same business we are all in. I mean, I have not met anybody for the past two weeks. Everybody says there is a swamp in the building and construction industry. I go to a man who is in the same business with me. He dips his hand in his pocket and carelessly gives me 75,000 naira without thinking about it, without batting an eyelid. The same man turns around and says to me, if the money is not enough, that I should come to his office by tomorrow and he will give me more. Are you not happy that he gave you this money? That is not the issue. I'm happy, at least you have the money you have. Amara, that is not what I am talking about. That's not what I'm talking about. Where is all this money coming from? That is the question. I thought you said you would ask him. Uh, well, I did. The man almost sent me out of his house for his net. That there is something that he does for the money. He swore that God is behind his money. Now tell me, Amara, what sin have I committed? This same God that I tried so much to worship has bluntly refused to give me money. Maybe you are not worshiping him right. Did I hear you right? Don't I go to church every Sunday and every Tuesday? Don't I go to any morning prayers before going to the market on Saturday? Don't I pay my tithes and give for the building fund? So, what is? Is he doing that I am not? What else do you want me to say now? What do we say? Anyway. Whatever it is they are doing to make all this world, I'll find it out. I'll find out. What? But it gets to me. It gets to me. It baffles me. What? That any time he gives me this money, I don't know what I've done with it. The next moment the money is finished. That goes to suggest that there's something else they do with this money. No, I don't know. I don't know. But at least God is using it to bless us. What are you making? Cynthia. Daddy, are you okay? Daddy. Where are you coming from? Chief, you know that ignoring me is not going to solve any matters. So you might want to tell me. What's going on? I went to see the chief priest. What for? I had a visitation when I went up to my room. You were downstairs. A ghost, a spirit, whatever. They came to me and they left me a warning. A warning? Oh yes, that was why you found me asleep. I had no intentions of going to bed at that time. But it came to me and it touched me and then I just passed out. And the next thing I, I woke up and I saw my shoes carefully arranged. That much I can remember. You know, when I was coming upstairs, along the stairway, I actually felt something brush past me. You know, I couldn't tell if it was a human being or, I don't know, 
because I, I didn't see what it was. I was very certain that something had just rushed past me. They told me to leave the nativity. Why? They said that it is a place of perdition and destruction. Why is that? Like I said, I, I asked the chief priest and he said that there has been a breach in the wall of space and time around me and I have to repair it. Hmm. A sacrifice. So have you made the arrangements? Oh yes, I'll call the boys. She'll be on the way. Hey, you'll be careful, babe. Of course. You know I always will be careful. Always. Let me go take a shower and prepare. Let me know when the boys get here. Okay, would you want something to eat? Uh, I'm still gonna make you food. My head says move against the wind, but my heart says move where the wind blows. How do I make my heart go where my head goes? Yeah, my head says move against the wind, but my heart says move where the wind blows. How do I make You have not been given the permission to walk the face of the earth. Neither have I given you the right to walk into my room. Stop manipulating my mind this minute, I warn you. Stop disturbing my peace, or I will call down all the powers of the nativity, and you will be utterly, utterly destroyed. I am the Lord, who has instructed me from the foundation of the world. Who can say no when I have said yes? Where can you go to hide from the one who knew you before you were found in the dead? Oh my 
check the girl to find out who she is. Then she turned around and asked to pass this for a while. And then he left. Okay, you go and get it.
and perdition. But what I do not understand, Father, is why me? Why would God choose me? Why, why would he choose a man like me, a man who has his hands stained with so much blood? Why me? After all, I, when he forced me to serve the devil, I choose to do it myself. Why me? Listen, my son. You did that in ignorance. As regarding why you, God's law is not like human law. God knew that sometimes we do not know the right thing or even the right way to pray. That's why we make mistakes here and there. So don't bother yourself, my dear. But why do you want to come to the temple? I told my boys to set her free. Let's say it again. Nice thing you have done. What am I going to hide you? What am I supposed to do now? I, I hear voices. Voices in my head. What do I do? My son. All you have to do is to surrender yourself. All and entire. The Never let us be.
please, my dear wife. I do not want to talk about this ever again. My enemies are at work. Yes. My enemies have decided to use my own husband against me. It will not work for you. Alex, by the way, it will not work for you. I promise you, you will not work for you. You. Oh, so Alex, you want to send me back to the village. Your plan is to send me back to the village to poverty. But to fear, I bet you, in this house, you will receive what you want from morning till night. It will not work for you. Nonsense. Promise. For five people, vegetable salad and pussy. Excuse me, Brother Fred, you know I told you I will be having five visits in the press, and I want you to be a hand to them personally. So please, why don't you postpone your travel until tomorrow? Okay, thank you. How are you? Good morning, Bob. Good morning, sir. I slept like a man. Because the good Lord says that he gives his beloved most to sleep. Huh? Uh, Did anything else happen last night? No. no. But when I was burning the clothes, this force, this force hit me down. And then a voice that said that. Its inscription is on my heart and not on the clothes. My son, I hope you never expected that the devil will keep quiet after he has left his place. No way. For sure he will react and his reaction will be very violent. But the word of God tells us that the weapons of our warfare are not carnal. But a mighty true God to be pulling down strongholds and casting down imaginations and putting into captivity every thought, notion or idea that exalts itself above the knowledge of God. My son, what matters here is not really what the devil has done in your life in the past or what he's doing now. What he plans to do in the future. But how much of the knowledge of God do you have? That only matters. So, what you should do now is to start applying the knowledge of God, my dear. And that's exactly what you do. Oh, then let us go to the child.
this is the crossest, most stupid level of irresponsibility that I have yet met. Akalia, what do you understand by being on God's side? Who is God but the one we serve? Who is God but the one who has given us the beauty, the wealth, and the power? to rule in this world. Who is God but the one who is the son of the morning? Akukalia, who have you allowed to bewitch you? Who? Nobody has bewitched me, Your Excellency. On the contrary, you are the one who has bewitched me. All of you, members of the political team, all of you who engage in demonic and sexual urges with you know, you don't know the truth. If it is more money than you do, you can appeal to the truth. Access to more resources of the family. If it is more power, I will I do not need anything from the family. I will pretend that it is. I appeal to the chief priest to give me an opportunity to talk with you because of the relationship I have with you. And he was magnanimous. I would rather that you listen to the voice of reason because you may not have fully comprehended the extent of the power and reach of the Nativity family. It can crush you like the mud underneath the feet of an elephant. Aha, uh -huh. one more thing. His Excellency will be passing on this night. And I will be sworn in as the next executive governor of the state. The first thing I will do is to make sweeping changes in my cabinet. And all the members of the Nativity family will have positions in my government. And I have reserved the position of the Commissioner for Trade and Industries for you. But that is, of course, if you resign on this, your foolish madness. Madam, please advise your husband. Thank you. Have a nice day, Your Excellency. Not a word.
the delight in the same exact thing. Let me ask you a question. What is the difference in the blood of rams, goats, sheep, and that of humans? Blood is blood. Do you know what those priests you want do with those little ones when you're not there? Of course I do. Of course you don't. You serve the God that has taken delight in you and has stressed for this end of friendship, which you so stubbornly are rejecting. Listen to me. Do not allow the love that he has for you turn into hate. Because my dad, you cannot stand the wrath of Lucifer. Spirit. If you receive the Holy Spirit, the Holy Ghost, 
photographic memory to remember all of your thoughts. He will stand by you. He will protect you. He will give you a new song. A bad fish was in your heart. The Holy Spirit of God will tell you what to do at any point in time. That's all.
was so sorry I kept you waiting while going to freshen up. I hope it's not the very board. Oh, no, no, not exactly. The wine has been keeping me company. Oh, fantastic. Mm -hmm. Actually, Actually, I just got off the phone with him. He is almost here. Really? Yes. Oh, that's good. That's good. Mm. By the way, the swearing was a huge success. Oh, my God. You, you couldn't, couldn't say, say that, that again. again. It was huge. <laughs> Oops. He's yeah. here. Really? What are you doing in my house, Mr. Commissioner? If I could come here, we are not quarreling. I didn't see you at the swearing, so I came to find out why. Well, I was not invited. And even if I was invited, I would not have come. I ask you again, what are you doing in my house? Like I said, we are not quarreling. I, my entire family, our families, and your wife at least, was at the swearing ceremony. But we did not see you. So I came to find out why you were not there. I have no reason to quarrel with you, Mr. Commissioner. You called me to tell me you were coming. I made it categorically clear. I said no. I will not entertain any member of the nativity in my house. I have rejected the devil and everything that is associated with me. Jifako we might belong to a family, but it holds a devil worship as you. Let me ask you this, Mr. Commissioner. How many wives, souls have you sacrificed, wasted? But how has that got to do with this? The sacrifices are essential. You said you your life to help your business grow, to appease the devil for the same wrong, to help you make more money, and what else? You alone, you have sacrificed over 15 souls to the nativity, to the devil. People you did not know. People who have families, people who have loved ones, who have children, who looked up to them. Souls that were important to God. Let me ask you this. Do you remember the man who was begging for his dear life and we stuffed his mouth with millipedes and buried him alive? Or the pregnant woman who was wailing, crying when we ripped out the fetus from her stomach. And what about the beautiful girl we ate bits and pieces of her dress and buttons while she watched, she screamed. She died. Oh, Mr. Commissioner, we have sinned. And you stand here, right in my living room, and you tell me that you are not of the devil? You seek to waste souls who rot in hell with your master. Get the hell out of my house! Says move against the wind, but my heart says move where the wind blows. How do I make my heart go where my head goes? Yeah, my head says move against the wind, but my heart says move where the wind blows. How? I have 
staircase. If you look for the place, this man to the back up, so be it. Because if you see that nomination, you are going to accept it, and you are going to become the commissioner, whether you like it or not. As I have no intention to fight, I also have no intention to serve the devil any further. So being the commissioner now means serving the devil. In this state, Contrary, 
you people are the ones who need reformation. Him who the Son of Man has set free is free indeed. If believing and accepting to worship the one true God means having a death wish, then fine. I don't mind dying a thousand times over. <laughs> uh, Kukaya, my friend, if you only understand what it means to die a thousand deaths in a lifetime, you will not open your mouth and talk like that. Because that is exactly what will happen to you. I gave you an opportunity to become something. But you threw it right back into my face. Now, you will understand what it means for both the physical and the spiritual forces. Come after you. I will kill you. And I will enjoy doing it. And when I am done, I will hand you over to the chief priest. Fine. Do what you must do, Your Excellency. I have gone too far to go back now. I know that it will be an honor to suffer and die for what I believe. Have a nice day, Your Excellency.
think of this thing.
from them all. Lo, I am with you all the way, even to the end of time. Open your eyes. Love. 